Greetings and welcome to another video. And no, it's not another one of those videos. It's a building tutorial video. It's, and in this video, we're going to be terraforming because everyone loves terraforming. Well, okay, I can't speak for everyone, but I love terraforming very, very much. <laughs> yes, it brings me great joy. So, I am using my land across the street here, which is aptly named City of Blocks because I have some fillers that I've put in the air in order to demonstrate some terraforming skill. All right, so I use Firestorm, by the way. I'm sure a lot of people do. If you're on the Second Life release client, I, I I can't tell you. If it doesn't have a pie menu, I'm lost. Sorry. Can't. But the same uh but the same instructions will apply regardless as to what viewer you're using. So you want to terraform land. You want to right click on your mouse and I get a pod menu because I prefer pod menus, but you'll probably get a pull down menu. And you want to select edit terrain. And then you'll get a pop up edit box come up. In on the radio buttons, you have select land. And to select land, you press down the left mouse key. Yep. Yeah, and you'll see a little yellow square pop up. If you want to extend the area that you want to terraform, you just move it. You just move the mouse while keeping your finger on the left mouse button down. And you can select as small, the smallest you can select is 16 meters. And of course you can select bigger areas if you want to. But for this demonstration, we're just going to go with 96 meters. Let's say you want to raise it. You would go to the raise radio button. You select that. Now you see the up arrows. That's indicating the direction in which the land will go. So raise is up. It'll go up. And you see the little bulldozer there. Now how I use the bulldozer to measure how detailed I want to be. I use the tip of the claw of the bulldozer and me pointing at the screen is not helpful to you whatsoever so look at my shoe you see the bulldozer now where i have the part of the bulldozer that i pay the closest attention to for detail is right there at the tip of my shoe i know it's silly but it's the best I could do right now because I don't have anything fancy on this channel. Okay. All right. So with using the tip of the bulldozer, I'm going to raise the land. And it will only raise in this highlighted yellow box. Now, in my previous tutorials, I've talked about how terraforming can be equivalent to moving a tablecloth on a table. If you bunch up one side, it's still going to affect the other area of the tablecloth. So imagine you have a round table and you cover it with a tablecloth. If you take your hand and bunch up the tablecloth in the center of the table, there will be areas of the cloth that will be affected and will bunch up crease or wrinkle even though your hand is nowhere near that part of the cloth terraforming is the same way there are times when you have a selected area that whatever you do in this box it will affect the outside of the box but only as a secondary only a secondary nature it won't be your primary uh, change in terraforming. 
So let's just go ahead and get to it. We're going to raise this land. We go up. We're just, and what I'm doing, I'm just pressing the left mouse key up. That's all I'm doing. Now, let's talk about the tablecloth effect. You see, you have the selected area yellow box here. Yep, it, it's still what it's supposed to. But if you look over here to the left, you'll see, uh-oh, it affected some land outside the yellow box. That's what I call the, t the, the, the tablecloth effect. And it does that. That's just what it does. Now, sometimes it won't do that. And that's according to the, um, the altitude of the land itself, I think. Um, let's go over here to the other corner. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to raise it. And we're just going to, I'm just going to leave my, my finger on that left mouse button. There you go. Look. Uh, raise them like a mountain. Look at it. Uh, now, I take my finger off the left mouse button, and you will see, oh, wow, it really did change it outside the box. Yeah, it did. But that's okay. Don't let that frighten you. Don't let that frighten you or knock you off focus, because it's fixable. Everything in Second Life is fixable, except if you delete your trash folder, that you can't fix that. And, well, most relationships are unfixable. But terraforming, always fixable. Never, 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 never be afraid to play with land. So, I want to get these two lumps flattened again. That's what I want to do. So. And I want to do it all in one move or maneuver. So I go up here to the radio button and I choose flatten. And <clears throat> I'm going to hit apply. Now everything in the yellow box will be affected once I hit apply. So give you a look from here. And we hit apply. And... I'm just using the left mouse button and I'm, I just keep hitting apply until I get it as flat as it's going to go. And there you go. All right. Now, obviously, you could have done it, you know, directly, but when you apply, that affects everything in the yellow box. Whatever. It is you done in that yellow box when you hit apply it'll undo or redo whatever you did and as you can see also the edges there so that confirms my tablecloth theory because those are there are some doubters out there really there are it, they're, they're like the flat earthers of second life I don't know it's really weird it's like anyway okay moving on so now we're going to um, we are going to raise up the land again, and we're just using that left mouse button, just clicking away. I'm just clicking, and now I'm just pressing down. Whee! Up and up and up. I'm the queen of the mountain. Look at me making mountains. Now the reason why it <laughs> it went so far beyond the yellow boxes because that's where I put the tip of my bulldozer. Had I put my tip of the bulldozer in more of the center of the box, then that lump would have been more concentrated in the center of the box. So the tip of your bulldozer, that's important. All right. So let's say that I want to keep this bit, but I don't want to keep that bit. What do I do? Well, I go back to select land and I use the left mouse button to select this area here. Yeah. And that too. Now you'll see it's cut it in half, right? Well, from that side of the lump to this side of the lump. And choose flatten. And I will show you what happens when you hit apply. 
That's what happens when you hit apply. It's like, oh no, that's not what I wanted. No. So. Now, what you do here is uh, when you make a mistake in terraforming, this also works for building. If you want to undo your last mistake and the second to last mistake, you hit Control Z. Oh yeah, just like in a Word document. Yeah, Control Z. Mm -hmm. Control Z. Because there is no, I mean, there is no undo button. Now there is the revert. I don't trust it. We'll talk about revert later. So we're back to where it was. All right, so the apply won't work. And so we're just going to do it free style or free finger, which is the appropriate name. Uh, I want to take my bulldozer here. You want to zoom in a little bit. And you want to start, start from the bottom. And I want to work on this corner of the hump, lump here. And we're on the flatten. And I just press the left mouse button a few times, like four times. I go over here to the other side and I do the same. Now, I want to deal with this top. So I go to the lower radio button to select lower. And we're still going to do it free finger, free style, free hand. I love coming up with quirky names for things. And we're going to go to the top here. And we just want to concentrate on the most lumpy areas with the tip of the bulldozer. Uh, I'm not sure how, how well you can see it, but I'm just evenly going around and and click it. Now, I will show you what happens when you hit the apply button in this scenario. Situation. Scenario, I think is better. Anyway, that's what happens. You see what happened? Did you see that? It like, see, it lowers like that. But you can work with that. You can. You can work with that. So we'll go back up to select land. Not do the whole thing. We'll do that. And we'll go to flatten. And apply. Yep. And we just want to do it some more. Do you want to do some rays? I'm sorry. I know I'm going quickly, but. I want to make sure that I didn't mess up. But there you go. So we're going to go ahead and. What, what was that? Ah, uh, one minute. Oh, I got to rebake. Waiting to rebake. I think it was like here. I mean, because there's the, the divide in. Well, anyway, it is possible. It's just one of those situations to where you really got to work at it, and it can be finicky. And but it is possible, and I can go ahead and raise that up as well. But this time, I'm going to do it a uh, free finger. Now, when you're working with free finger, you really do want to pay attention to your bulldozer. I mean, I know the arrows can be a bit um, distracting, but that only tells you the direction in which the land is going. And it'll always match up with the radio buttons over here. So if you wanted it lower, your arrows would be down. If you wanted it smooth, it would be... Uh, can't remember what these things are called. <laughs> uh, 
eye brackets. I don't know. But anyway, that means that it's smooth. <laughs> Ruffin is up and down. Ruffin, I don't recommend it. Nope. Oh, that's for another video all by itself. That and reverts. And with flatten, it'll just have the land being flat. So that's flattened when you have one bar on the end of the stick. And then with smooth, you have two bars on the end of the stick, you know, to make it smooth and on both sides instead of flattened where it be smooth on one side. I guess that's how you can look at it. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do, do, do. right. So we sorted that side out. Now I just want to raise this up a bit and I want to make it more curvy at the top. And now I'm going to use smooth. And then I'm going to flatten that. Puff it out there. And then I'm going to walk on it. Now, do you see what's happening here? You see that? My avatar is like jumping everywhere. Now, every time you terraform, something wonky like that will happen. Or if you have a scripted uh, pathfinder object, it'll, it won't work or it'll go the way that it's not supposed to go. That's because you need to rebake um, the land. And it's that, um, button at the top of your client let me hold on uh, I'm moving my overlay so you can see yeah so you see the it's like the s arrow with the yellow exclamation point on the triangle when you hit that you'll get the message the region has pending pathfinding changes. If you have build rights, you may rebake the region clicking on the rebake button. So I go ahead and hit that. And then I won't have any issues with the bouncing or any pathfinding objects won't have any issues with uh, their scripted um, ways, routes, whatever. I'm so crap at technical terms. Uh, right? So there you go. And it's like, oh, here's a nice hump. And oh, it's flat on that side. So it is possible. Anything in terraforming is possible. As long as you have patience. And I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to open that group. Um, as long as you have patience and you don't get butt hurt too easy. All right. So let's see, what else can I show you do? All right, let's make a hole. Yep, let's make a hole. Let's dig a hole. We're going to dig a hole. We're going to dig, dig, dig a hole. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to go to edit terrain. And we're... Uh, Mm, actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to dig a hole for sure, but we are going to do it free finger, right? So you want to pay attention to the tip of your bulldozer. You want to keep that left finger down. I'm sorry, you want to keep your index finger down on the left mouse button. And, you're, and you can see that, oh, look, there's the beginning of a hole. Oh, right? And you think, okay, I made a hole. You started making a hole, but you are far from done. Far from done. All right. So what you want to do, you want to pretty that up a little bit. So you want to go to smooth. And you just want to pretend like you're drawing, really. That's what I do. Um, I just keep the left mouse button pressed down with my finger. And I just pretend I'm drawing. You know, I have like the center here and then I want to flatten like around it as well. Yep. So, you know, just like you're drawing a circle on a piece of paper, that's what you do. And you can make it bigger and bigger and it'll get wider and it'll expand more at the sides. Now, as you notice, as I'm doing this, 
And, you know, I'm still paying attention to the tip of my bulldozer. And it's like, oh, wow, there's a hole. There's a hole there. But, you know, it's like an upside down cone. That's what it looks like to me. See? I want to make the hole more narrow. So I want to close up the sides a little bit. So just close up the sides. You know, like a little semicircle at the bottom and like a little semicircle at the top. And then I want to do a little bit of flattening. Just around the edges here. As you can see, just around the edges. I might need to pull that side in a bit more, but let's see here, because we want to get like a little ledge. I mean, because we're not going for a crater, we're just going for a hole. That's a dip. That's not a hole. That's okay we can make it a hole and that's what we're going to do we're going to make it a hole make it a hole make it a hole make it a hole a hole 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 right okay now what i want to do i want to flatten it up just a little bit here yeah that's getting better getting better because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the hole, but I want all the sides to be even and as narrow as I can get it. I mean, I can't get it like, mm, like Mario pipe hole narrow. It is possible, but I don't want to get it that narrow in this example. So we're just going to keep on smoothing it. And what that smooth does, it'll smooth it out and make it even. Where there's like no uh, bumps on the sides. Where it's just like a straight slope. And then we want to go back down to lower. And I'm going to do this. Yep. Then I'm going to control Z on that. Then I'm going to lower it again. I'm going to concentrate in this area. Yeah, and there's your hole. Now, I could raise this up actually. Yeah, it's probably better if I do not. Yep. Alrighty. There's your hole. That's your hole. You can do anything in that hole. That's a hole. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. Okay, right. So this tutorial has been about 24 minutes. I think that is the length of people's uh, attention spans now. Uh, otherwise, I get nasty complaints in Second World. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will make some more. Stay tuned. Bye.